Standard two in the first unit, magnitude and direction. Our learning objective is physicists can define and use magnitude and direction when, you're, when working with vectors. So we looked at magnitude and direction uh, in the first video, but we're going to look at them a lot more in depth in this video. So magnitude. So when a vector is drawn as, as an arrow, the length of the, ve of the arrow is the magnitude. And magnitude is a scalar quantity. So um, a vector is a, is a, has both magnitude and uh, direction, and magnitude is a scalar part of the, of the vector. So now we're going to look at a little bit more uh, detail at direction. So when a vector is drawn as an arrow, the direction the arrow is pointing is the vector's direction, which makes a lot of sense. Direction can be labeled in different ways. So we can label direction in different ways. So we can say the vector is pointing up, it's pointing down, it's pointing left, or it's pointing right. You say that it's pointing north or south or east or west or any variant of that, uh, east, southeast, west, northwest, and so on. Or we can even give it a, a degree. We could say it's pointing uh, at 50 degrees or 160 degrees um, or, again, any variant of that, uh, 183 degrees. So let's go ahead and look at some examples of different vectors. Okay, so we've got a blank grid here that I'm gonna to use to draw some vector examples on. Um, the grid is labeled as one meter, so uh, each grid square is a meter. So I'm just gonna start here and I'm gonna draw a vector that is three meters long. So we have a three meter vector that is going rightward. Okay, I'm gonna draw another vector. Uh, this time I'm gonna draw one that is seven meters long. So I'll label this as a seven meter long vector. All right, seven meters, and this one is rightward as well. So that's a seven meter vector that is rightward. And then let's do one more vector. This time we will do a, let's do a five meter vector. We're gonna go in the opposite direction here. So this is a five meter vector. So five meter vector, and this is leftward. All right. So uh, notice that these vectors are all pointing, um, the, so we have uh, two rightward vectors and so two rightward vectors and one leftward vector and um, so these vectors are all pointing on this uh, they're pointing in opposite directions but they're all on the same plane uh, so this is a one these are one dimensional vectors uh, which is the unit that we're studying right now is one dimensional uh, motion in one dimension so all the vectors that we're looking at right now are going to be one dimensional um, so in the next slide, we'll look at uh, vectors that are in uh, multi-dimensions. Okay, so we've got a couple of xy planes here, so we're going to draw a couple of example uh, vectors. So we can start here on the, the left xy plane, and uh, so I'm going to label this as uh, in the cardinal directions. So we've got uh, north, so we've got north, south, east and west. Um, so if we label this as the origin, and we go out here to six. So we're going to say this, uh, these are meters. So um, we go from zero to six. So this is going to be a six meter uh, vector in the eastward direction. So six meters east. 
that's that vector. Uh, likewise, we could do we could go from uh, the origin up to eight. So go straight up, straight north. So zero to eight. Uh, so that would be an eight meter vector uh, in the north direction. Uh, and we could also then go, we could do a, uh, a four meter. So we could go from, from zero to four. And this would be a four meter vector in the westward direction. So that is, uh, those are three different example, uh, examples of vectors, uh, and that's in uh, a north, east, west, uh, and south uh, type of example. Uh, now if we go over to the right um, xy plane, we can do uh, an example where we have uh, angles. All right, so we start here at the origin. We go over four and up three. Draw that vector there and this is a five meter vector and that angle is about 37 degrees so we label that as five meters 37 degrees and that is our vector there so after you finish the video you'll get an opportunity to do a little bit of practice with uh, magnitude and direction of vectors and uh, then you'll get to take a little exit ticket which uh, will give you the opportunity to show me that you understand magnitude and uh, direction of vectors and my parting thought for you today as usual is keep asking questions it's how you learn new things